What's up YouTube, Jepper here. Today I've got something special for you, the Battlefield 4 settings editor. This program is totally free, I've got uh, the download link in the description. It allows you to basically set everything to your liking in Battlefield 4, even with some hidden uh, options you normally would only get if you know the command line and put it in your config file. So check it out. From the left you have your gameplay, graphics, sound, controls, key bindings, console and fixes. So gameplay, as I said, basic gameplay settings, uh, network smoothing, control setting your weapon zoom if you want to hold it or click it. Hint settings, very useful, you can uh, disable it per category, so you want subtitles, hint system, reload, hints, tutorial pop-ups, award messages and game mode messages. Your HUD settings, HUD opacity, of course, very needy. If you are looking constantly to your map, you may want to put it at the 90. Chat lock, slow, show, when active or hide. So the graphics options, you have your brightness at 50%. Your HUD skill, you can pump that up. Motion blur amount, um, I would definitely suggest you disable that. Weapon blur, color blindness support, of course. Full screen monitor 1, uh, I've got uh, 1080p. Refresh rate, uh, got it to 60. Vertical sync, yes. Resolution scale, just basically at 100. You can pump this up, but it will uh, probably ruin your game at this moment because the game is not stable. Quality settings, feel free to use mine. Next, we have sound sound system. I've set it to hi-fi stereo mode and voice over IP volume will boost the volume of people talking to you or to your squad mates. Controls, here you can set your mouse sensitivity. What's very neat here is you can set your mouse sensitivity um, 0.16 this is more accurate than you could do uh, in the game itself so you should go into your config file to change this this way or use Battlefield 4 settings editor very nice your vertical sensitivity joystick sensitivity and joystick dead zone in the console screen you can adjust your screenshot format to whatever you like you can disable or enable direct X settings you can cap your FPS at the maximum amount enable triple buffer and draw FPS, draw screen information and draw performance overlay. And then we are back to the fixes. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more of this or a detailed guide, please let me know in the description. And of course, liking and sharing is very appreciated. Thank you.